What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode, the first episode anyways. I did it again. I did it again. That's how you know, I told people on Twitter, that's how you know this is like my eighth attempt at recording this episode is because I say another episode of because I've recorded this episode like four times now. We're gonna play some Sheltered. It's in like 1.6, 1.7 moving on up. The last time we touched on the game I think was like 0.6 or around there somewhere. So there's a lot of stuff in the game. I've been streaming this game pretty heavily and so I figured I'd give the channel a little bit of love and show it on off. While I'm in the neighborhood, uh, let's go ahead and play the game. If you have never seen it before, it's a game where you gotta survive inside of a bunker and do your thing. You gotta gather up food, you gotta gather up supplies, you gotta keep your family alive, and slowly you'll start to turn your bunker into like a hub of humanity where a whole bunch of people will come and join you. Let's jump on in. I already have a preloaded family. We're gonna have everything on the standard settings. Yes, load a preset family. Uh, we've got Crash Mom. We've got Bash Dad. We've got Fiddle Kid. She's good at fixing stuff, fiddling with objects. And then we've got a boy named Sue, who's going to be going so hard and so raw. Just going ham on our enemies that try to ride out on our family. We've got a dog named Dot. And our family name is Bandana Nasty because everyone, they didn't have a bandana for the girl graphic. I mean, she has like a headband, but it's not the same, man. It's just not the same. You got to have the bandana on there. You gotta have the bandana. We got a dog named Dot, so we're gonna have to feed that a little bit, but the dog is a pretty badass companion for fighting enemies. Alternatives are you can have a horse, but the horse eats like a thousand food a day. The horse is great late game. The horse is terrible at the beginning of the game. Uh, we can have a cat that just kills rats and doesn't really do anything else. I mean, you can get rat meat, I guess, from what the cat kills. You can have a snake, which... I don't know why you would ever do that. Like, the last animal on Earth that I want to look at in the apocalypse is definitely not... A snake. Uh, I don't want the goldfish either because it just makes people happier. And we're in an apocalyptic world where violence reigns supreme and blood flows in the ancient, rusted, crusted streets. So I need like a German Shepherd in here. I'm not, I need a dog that's ready to get down. Let's do this thing. No, I don't want to play the tutorial. Let's just jump straight into the game. We got this covered. It's going to be a day. Hop on into the bunker with the Bandana Nasty family. There's an eyeball spray painted on our wall. That's somewhat kind of terrifying and foreboding. So the little girl's the best at our crafting. First thing we want her to do is we want her to go in and actually upgrade the crafting bench to level 2. You should start with enough stuff to get that done without having to worry about it. Uh, the second thing is we're going to have Sue craft an item. We're going to have him craft an expansion to our base because we're going to need some extra space to lay down our face and keep water inside these big old blue things. There's no, I don't think there's any tanks, I guess, kind of rhymes with face, but not really. I mean, I was trying to get there, but it's just not the way that it went. Uh, the items we need to craft, we need to get. Uh, we can't do anything from level 2 just yet, so we'll hold off on that, but level 1 stuff we can do. We can make a makeshift shower, and we'll move that around and put it in a better spot after everything else is done. We can also craft a mop and bucket, which is important for keeping the bunker clean, because if the bunker's not clean, the dirtiness levels of all of our different colonists will go up and cause us issues. So up here we've got thirst, we've got hunger, we've got sleep, we've got turlet needs, just in case you got to drop that killer deuce, baba deuce. And then you've also got yourself the shower over here, which is your dirtiness level. On top of that, we have stress and we have trauma. Stress and trauma don't really factor in too much unless you're just, like, murdering random people with with reckless abandon. Like, seriously, if you're walking outside of your place just like, who can I murder with an axe handle? Uh, yeah, your stress is going to go up pretty quickly, but by and large, it shouldn't factor into the game too heavily. With all the crafting that's been done, it's going to leave sawdust on the floor, so we'll go ahead and get them started. And then the final thing that we need to make is we need to make ourselves a bed. There it is. And so, awesome. The bed will get done very shortly, and so we've got a sleeping spot. We should have a new location for arrangement right now. What we're going to use this for is almost entirely water storage actually, and then we'll be waiting on our first rain so that we can send people out to go and scavenge. That's pretty much all there is left. You, sir, take a nap. You've earned it. You clean up the shelter. Little girl who is somehow amazing at engineering. Um, see, she's the kind of little girl that used to play with erector sets, man. I can't play with erector sets. I suck at that shit, man. I just can't do it. Uh, we'll go in with some plastic right now. So there's a water butt right there. Uh, she should be able to jump in on that. Only one person at a time can actually use a ladder. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're trying to plan transit throughout your base. We'll go with the second water butt right there. And then we'll probably scoot this one on down. I think that's just about all we're going to be able to handle as far as water butts are concerned. Uh, did he actually clean the place up? I don't know if he did or didn't, but... Man, why worry about it? We've got enough for a third water butt. I'm trying to make sure that that doesn't... Yeah, make another water butt. Absolutely. If our butt ain't full of water, then that butt just ain't getting hotter. There it is. And so we'll put a little bit of stank in the tank, or at least a little bit of tank down in the stank that's in the bottom of our bunker, which is absolutely rank. Little girl, go and clean up and mop and get sawdust off the floor. 
there it is. And so finally, we will kick him out of bed because he's had about enough sleep. A second sleeping spot would probably be one of those things that's going to make things flow a little bit better. Our throughput would be better, but uh, the dog's hungry. Great. Uh, the other thing we need to craft is we need to make a satchel before we go out and scavenge. And so there it is. Make ourselves a satchel. That's going to have the added effect of allowing us to carry more shit along with us when we go out on adventures. And adventures, you might be saying, how do we do that? Well, you go to start expedition. You kick over to the next person and take a look at this map right here. There's all kinds of glory stuff for us to explore and in fact this is randomly generated and it's not looking randomly generated too great right now well this corner is promising right here I like this corner this corner is cool but the rest of the map is kind of a wash and there's not a lot of stuff around here but we should be able to get by my first expedition will probably go out as soon as we get rain because it requires water to go out on expeditions uh, it'll probably go down to like this region right here we'll do like a little loop we'll hit like this, eh, we'll hit this, this, go like that. I don't know what the most efficient way to do it is, but you know me. Y'all know me here on the internet. I don't do efficient things anyway, so I'm not going to concern myself with it. Go ahead and clean the shelter. The dog, we can let his health get down to like 75 before we feed him. Not that big of a problem. We started out with 8 fuel, 15 water, and 10 food. Uh, what I would recommend doing is switching off all the lights too. Turn the lights off! Because it's draining our fuel right now if we don't turn the lights off if you have lights on it makes you craft more quickly But if the lights are off, we're not really doing a whole lot of crafting anyways right now So not that big of a deal. We will rearrange the shelter ever so slightly see if we can eke out a little bit of space Like eek the cat we will put that over there perfect that did buy us a little bit more space I might be able to fit like a sleeping bag or something in right there that might be kind of cool if I can scooch that over ever so actually there's no point because the vent takes up the placement space right there so moving that over a little bit is not really gonna help us all together that much uh, yeah we'll just keep it right where it's at as far as the bucket and the shower go we can move that around ever so slightly in addition we can take the clipboard and we can kind of just put that wherever it's not that huge of a concern I will rearrange some of this stuff later but for now looks like a pretty solid rearrangement I'm happy with with it uh, over on this side 75 yep let's go ahead and fill that on up perfect uh, dog got fed right about the time that he needs to get fed before he starts getting a little bit too hungry we'll send people across to go get some food how many people need to sleep right now I'm gonna assume a lot of people need to sleep right now we will also eat up a little bit of our food supply and then we just wait for rain and while we wait for rain, we've actually got to see if this person's going to come down into the bunker. And in fact, she did. So this could be a potential problem or it could be a potential trade. You never quite know. Uh, if they get out of this thing feeling like they've been, I don't know, dicked over by you, they'll go up and they'll break your air filters and stuff. So he's being chased by something. No, I can't take any extra survivors right now. Sorry, I'm a survivor, not going to give up. Oh, we've got a sleeping bag. Yeah, put a sleeping bag in. I like having multiple sleeping surfaces because it allows me to fix problems a little bit more rapidly. And in fact, our filter is looking pretty busted anyway, so she busted up both the filters. She's good at crafting, so we'll go ahead and take a suit, and then we'll send her up to fix one of the filters. And then she'll fix the other one while she's up there too. You go ahead and sleep. Uh, his sleep meter is looking pretty good, so we don't really have to worry about that for right now. And then the never-ending quest for rain to show up. I trust the rain down inside my hole. I need it now more than you can know. See, I did the harmony on that one because I was feeling like... I was trying to give you the Splattercat premium experience. Oh, and there is our rain. Perfect. So anybody that needs to take a shower or get a drink needs to do that now while we have active rain falling from the sky. Did I just never make a toilet? Did I forget to make a toilet? I think I forgot to make a toilet. All right. Craft me a toilet. Toilets are awesome. Gonna need toilets. Oh, shit. We don't have room for said toilet. Okay. I'm gonna have to rearrange the shelter then. We'll put the, the cleanup bucket right there. And then I think that will give me room to make my turlet. I think. Ah, eh, shit. Okay. So we can get this working. I know we can. Rearrange this over as far as I can. It's very important that you go through and rearrange your shelter like for real if you don't do it Then you'll probably rue it. So, you know, go ahead and go through it because you're gonna need to poo It's gonna be rough if you don't I mean you're gonna end up with like weird diverticulum and all kinds of strange things happening So there it is. Oh, we've got enough water to hold us for a bit possibly like a ah the rain stopped. That's not good 
All right, go ahead and fix this then. Uh, we may not have enough water to go out and do anything major, but we can start an expedition right now. Uh, the stats that your characters have, strength is for fighting, intelligence is for crafting, charisma is for trading, although I've never seen charisma actually affect anything, dexterity is for shooting, and perception is for looting. So in general, you want to send out your uh, most perceptive people to loot. That'll cost us five water. Yes, take the dog with you, please. Uh, take my dog, please, and then I will equip you with that right there. And then if I had some brass knuckles, I'd equip them with those. Everything else has a strength requirement on it in order for you to be able to wield it as a weapon. We don't have any weapons that he can effectively wield right now, but maybe we'll pick up... I don't know, maybe we'll pick up something awesome a little bit later. Uh, she's fixing the water filter right now. The oxygen filter is completely and totally done. Why would we worry about dirtiness and taking showers, you might ask? Well, it's important because if you eat food while you're incredibly dirty, you get food poisoning, and then they just walk around the shelter going... Bleh! Just be like... Bleh, 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 bleh. Just vomiting green all over the place the entire time. It looks like they're spitting up Slimer. It looks like they ate like a cubed Kermit the Frog or something. It gets a little bit ugly, so, you know, make sure that you... Uh, this guy's coming in too. I swear to God. What do you want, Paul? Uh, he's looking for Sanctuary. Thank you. No, get out of here. We've got to be cruel. This is survival mode. We've got to rely on... We actually have to rely on the facts. What do we have? Not a lot. When do we have it? Now. And so anybody that can't contribute to that or be eaten and converted into delicious man steaks, uh, we can turn him into long pork. He's not welcome here. Bash Dad! He stumbled across a church and it looks like it might have some good stuff. Yeah, take a look in the church. Let's see what's going on with that. Let's see what's going on with the church. So inside the church we find items. Are they good items? Oh, there's some food, some nails, some pipes. I'm not going to take the charcoal. We've got some circuit breakers. We've got some paint cans. I'm going to take everything for now because sometimes you meet traders on the road and sometimes you just need like a little bit of garbage to fodder over and just give to people. Uh, he needs to sleep and he needs to eat. So go ahead and eat and then go ahead and sleep. What does she have going on? Go ahead and take a shower with soap just to get it done faster. Uh, soap speeds the, it like basically doubles the speed at which you shower and get rid of your dirtiness. And so in the early game, soap is super expendable because later on you'll be able to get more soap like seriously, you will have stacks of soap later on. I think in my good playthrough, I have like a hundred soap inside my inventory. It shows up from time to time. I don't know what he's searching right now, but hopefully it's no place deadly. So we've got items on this side. There's leather, uh, we've got nylon. There's the soap that I was telling you about that always seems to show up. Uh, there is some fuel, which is kind of a useful thing to have. So we'll pick up some fuel. Nope, not charcoal. We'll pick up some gas on this side. And then I will also pick up soap because while water is a premium, we want to make sure that we are bathing quickly. If we're not bathing quickly, then we are just wasting massive amounts of water. And so I'd prefer to avoid that particular quandary slash conundrum slash problem if I can. He's looting a building right now, so we'll go ahead and take a look inside. And so inside the school, he found... There's some sheet metal, there's some tools, tools are always useful. More water butts would be nice if I can get my water up to maximum, but nylon is good for right now too. Leather is going to be another thing we want to focus on so that we're sending people out. Get rid of the paint can because that's not going to be immediately useful right now. Instead, we've got two plastic, we've got 22 metal. Bring back plastic with you, bring back nails with you, and if we can dump something else to bring back wood, I will not turn that down either. How much wood do I have? 16. Concrete would be good too because concrete would allow us to expand the base out a little bit further. Yeah, let's go with the concrete instead. I'll bring the concrete back. That's the last place he's going to loot anyway, so it's no biggie. We'll go ahead and have her jump on out of the suit. She will take a nice soapy shower. After the soapy shower is done, she will take a nice soapy sleep. Oh, she needs to drop a deuce too. Drop a deuce. Drop a deuce. There we go. Well, they made it back to base, so this is our haul for that whole thing. Uh, we're not going to have to expand our storage very much because almost everything we brought back stacks. He got 60 XP for doing that little quest right there that he was taking care of. Water has fallen off a little bit and food could be better, but you frequently ha kind of have food problems in the beginning of this game. And you sort it out after a while. You really sincerely do. I'm going to need somebody to clean up the base, so grab that mop, take care of business, make sure there's not a whole bunch of nasty streaks on the floor. I don't want the floor to look like my 8-year-old underwear, alright? It's just... Was it the underwear from when I was eight? Have I had it since I was eight? Is my underwear eight years old? You'll never know. You'll never know the secret of that statement that I've just dictated unto all of you. We're waiting for our next rain right now, so let's go ahead and pass some time. And there it is, actually. The game was obliging. We got rain right after I was starting to get concerned about it. So what we want to do now is we really do want to think about sending people out on, like, a real expedition. 
uh, a long expedition, an expedition that'll put him out there to go grab like a handful of goodies, like come back with like 20 food, come back with like all kinds of things that are going to be useful to us. So let's set up that expedition. We're going to take Crash Mom for fighting. Uh, we're going to take Bash Dad for looting. And then we are going to take the dog with us as well, just in case we get into a fight. That's going to take 19 water to get over to there. That's going to take around 44. So my suggestion would be... That we kind of just hit it like that right there. Uh, that's a pretty good path. I think I could optimize it a little bit better. If we go up this way, we'll hit both of those locations. Then we go straight down. Back up. Back down, and then that's 48 water right there. So we won't be able to hit the last location. But we already have confirmed rain, so I'm going to take a big risk right here in order to make our lives a little bit safer and a little bit more bountifully, I suppose, resourced. And so the gas mask, you want to wear a gas mask whenever you go out into the wasteland. If you don't, you'll end up with radioactive poisoning, and that's no funsies, that nuclear Poisoning. You don't want to be nuclear'd. You want to be nuclear. You want to be nuclear'd. I can't even force myself to say that word. My mouth automatically goes back to nuclear. Like, oh no, baby, what is he doing right now? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is gonna be our big expedition for right now, unless this is like the water hall of a century. So hopefully we get like full water tanks from this. There's no way to tell though until you get further. Uh, if we got 120 water out of this, I'd be real surprised. Other things that we need to do for right now. If we can craft another section of the base, which we can. I would recommend doing that because we're going to need to build storage space and rearrange things while mom and dad are out on missions. Uh, there's somebody else on the road. Should we handle it? Hell yeah, slap a handle on that fody. Let's do this thing. Let's get it done, boo-boo. Let's handle this thing. Let's get down in town, clown. Let's do this thing. It's about to get stupid up in here. Doo-doo dumb. All right, so we'll confirm right here. I'm just passing on by. I find someone like myself thrives in these conditions. The bodies are so willingly ignored, the missing so readily up. Oh, she's going to fight us, damn it. All right, well, into combat we go. My dog is going to bite this guy's face. Uh, my dog's health is a little bit low right now because we haven't fed him in a while, so that's a bummer. Uh, Crash Mom, take him out with a pipe. Uh, ding. Uh, ding. Uh, ding. Uh, he still has no weapon that he actually has the strength to wield. Oh, you disarmed me? A disarming gaze. Unfortunately, that was probably going to be that character's last decision because my dog is going to eat your face on his next oh my dog blocked the pipe how did my dog block the pipe that's dope dude i can also so i don't want to have attacks i need to pick up my weapon so there it is we'll get our weapon back hopefully she sticks to like disarming oh she tried to disarm crash dad but hey keep those attacks oh blocked okay they're out here lightsaber fighting like wow 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 uh, she had some loot. I'll take it. Pills here! We got some antibiotics. Those are useful. Not crazy useful right now, but, you know, you'll know when you need them. That's for sure. Uh, water's starting to stack up. The generator's looking a little bit iffy. We will add fuel and get that done. There it is. And just like that, we're almost done with that right there, but we've actually got some items at a lumber yard out here. We've got some axes. Okay, we've got some wood, we've got some ropes, which are really useful. We've got a belt sander, which will be useful for upgrading our tools bench. Every tool that you find increases your crafting speed by 10%. You can only get each of them one time, though. So stuff like screwdrivers, hammers, uh, belt sanders, drills, that kind of stuff. you want to keep an eye out for them. I will bring the axes. I don't think I'm going to need them, but I can use them for trade fodder if we get really desperate. And oh my god, this is like the best rain of the season right now. I'm pretty happy with how this is playing out at the moment. I was worried we were going to go into the game and just not have anything going on. Uh, as soon as you get done with that repair... Oh, never mind. He's got nothing else going on. Looty time! They've gone to a medium house. Yeah, investigate it. Investigate that thing. Jump a fence. Go get us some loot. Or yeah... Pretty good at hopping fences myself. Don't ask how I got that way, but I'm pretty good at hopping fences. We used to play a game called Mission when I was a kid, which was basically just baiting people to shoot you. Like, we would just, you come up with a thing that you've got to do, like climb onto somebody's roof at like 2 in the morning. And that's what kids do, man. That's what 14 year olds do. You got to do what you got to do. I mean, in retrospect, was it the best idea ever? No, absolutely not. In retrospect, did I get chased by dogs? And do I have a lifelong fear of other people's dogs now? Absolutely. It led to a phobia, so you can rest assured that I paid the price. But mission was fun at the time. You go out at, like, midnight, and then you get, like, all your black clothes on. And I could see how people would mistake you for a burglar. We never did anything, like, bad. It was all just kind of like, would you do this thing? 
And so, like, one time, one of the missions that I got is I had to run through every backyard on the block until I got to the cross street all the way down. And I did. I'm pretty good at hopping fences. You know, you hop into a backyard that's got, like, a Rottweiler in it, and it inspires you to move pretty quickly. I'd be moving like lightning out there. I'd be booming like thunder. Don't do this shit, kids. This is what we used to do back before we had the internet because we were bored. Now we have the internet so we can just get in like online digital arguments and silently hate each other. But back then we had to, you know, do rowdy shit like that. I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff somebody had to do. Somebody had to do something that like really sucked and I can't recall what it was. I'll remember it like once I finish this episode, I guarantee you. That's how it always goes. I always, I'll confirm. Can I help you with something? You got a place to say? Oh, he wants to join us? Nah, he's rejected. Get the hell up out of here. I ain't got no time for you. Your wife beater wearing perm 1970s looking detective ass. Get up out of here. Examine them items. Ooh, we've got FUD. I will take food over antibiotics any day. Now that we've got food, that's actually pretty good because I don't know if you noticed, but our food is blinking red at us right now. It's not a good look. That's not a good look if you're not a fan of, like, your ribs showing and stuff like that. We got some soap laying around, and there are things we can bring back. I never have wiring when I play this game. I'm always out of wiring, and so I tend to bring back wires when I, whenever I see them, like, obsessively. I tend to, like, rip wiring out of houses. It's just what I do when I play this game because I've never had enough wiring. They found a small house out there. Hopefully there'll be something good. As we get further into the game, like day 50, day 60, there'll start to be factions that'll move into different locations. I already have a belt sander, so I don't really need it. Hinges we do absolutely need. So get rid of the axes. I'll take some hinges and a wrench. I will take the scrap metal as well. We've got rubber on deck, duct tape we've only got nine of. So more duct tape would be nice, but unfortunately, it don't fit right now. And so if it don't fit, you gotta quit with that looting shit. Uh, we got fuses, not gonna need those for a good long while, so I'm not even gonna give those a second glance. Fuses are kinda like tier two, tier three stuff that you need for crafting. We'll get that a little bit later. We've got a medium house. Okay, jump on into the medium house. I do play this game fast paced. Uh, life comes at you fast, the bunker comes at you fast. But it is what it is, man. Uh, we've got a little bit more fuel right there, a little bit more food, absolutely. We've got enough wool to get by, valves we'll need later, ropes we're gonna need right this second, cause to take our stuff up to, to take our entire base up to crafting level three, we're gonna need a lot of ropes to take the crafting bench up to level three, or level two. I don't know if it starts at level zero, if it starts at level one. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait on that one. It's like how there's kinda like with English people, we've got like a misalignment of how we like label level zeros and level ones. Like, in the United States, you're, like, in the lobby floor, then you're, like, on the second floor or whatever, but, like, in the UK, you start out on, like, the zero floor, and then you go to the second floor, but it's the first floor, or something like that, I don't know. It used to confuse me when EE would talk about it, I'd be like, damn, international culture. It's weird how two cultures that are so similar can do things so differently. So differently. We also don't have the 13th floor here. You never build the 13th floor. It's a superstition from, like, the 1800s and the 1900s. You don't ever build a 13th floor. It's just a thing we do in America. Even though nobody believes that shit anymore, you just... It's a construction superstition. You ever build a 13th floor? And we've got a nail right there. We've got more concrete would be nice because we could expand the base out a little bit further. I'm trying to think of what would be expendable, though, that we could get rid of in order to take the concrete with us. Not going to need transistors for a bit, but damn, are we going to need transistors when we need them. You hit a certain point in this game where you need, like, transistors for days. You need so many transistors. Like, loads and loads and loads of the little bastards just laying around everywhere. Go get some agua. There you go. I can't guarantee that it'll be Freya. But, you know, Crash Mom found a bank. Okay. Well, I don't know what we need out of a bank, but we can give it a look. I mean, maybe there'd be something useful in there. Maybe somebody left their lunch out in the... Ooh, got gas masks, enough to replace everything we brought with us on this expedition. That'd be kind of nice. Sure. I think, uh... Let's get rid of the soap for right now, because we're not having water problems. I think soap is probably the safest acquisition that we can get rid of. Uh, don't underestimate pipes. You actually go through pipes by double digits. Like, every time you upgrade anything in, like, the second or third tier, you go through, like, 10 to 20 pipes. And so start stacking pipes nice and early. Uh, start laying down your pipe foundation as quickly as possible. I could bring a carrier bag back with me, but I don't think it's going to be something that I want for right now. I am loath to leave gas masks behind, so you know what? I'm going to throw them in there. That basically guarantees we're going to be able to go out and continue scavenging in the future. So a bit of a loss, but a bit of a win there. We're not going to need rubber. Rubber used to be a much more... Rubber used to be harder to come by. We've got a small petrol station. Okay, that'll be good for food. Sounds all right. Be able to get some tiny munchies out there. Get some of them petroleums. Mmm, petroleum yums. That good stuff. Uh, we'll examine some items out here. We've got a valve, some metal, a hinge, and some fuel. Although it won't stack any further, so we can't take any more fuel with us. There we go. Perfect. 
items inside of a medium house, too. So we've got some more food right there. That's great. If I can get food up to, like, 20, I'd be a lot happier with our chances going into the future. But we've kind of reached that point with looting where we can't really carry anything else except for food. So I'm going to leave them out to do their thing. We've got 120 water right now, which is absolutely fantastical. Uh, there's not a whole lot of stuff we can actually... Shit, I messed up. That was my bad. I just missed up. There's a florist. Florists are good for getting seeds. That's one of the few things that you get from a florist's office that can be helpful. We are going to need a storage crate, so I'm going to put one in down here because you never know when you're going to bring back more stuff than you can store. And there's nothing worse than having a super fruitful evening of thieving items from abandoned places than finding out you don't actually have space to store said items that you have thieved. It's an incredibly depressing situation to find yourself in, and I would prefer to avoid that entirely. So I'm going to boost up that Eva that evasion right there by building a crate. Aside from that, uh, they're going to loot a small pharmacy, and we're going to be out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on in for an episode of Sheltered. Uh, this is the 1.6, 1.7, 1. something update. It's been a long, long time since we touched on this series, but I'm touching, and it's feeling oh so good. Thanks for stopping on by. You want to support me, you can do it through the Patreon. You want to support the developers, you can do that through the link down below. Other than that, check out my Twitch stream. I frequently play this game. In fact, I got a VOD up for you right now, which is like four hours of this game that you can go check out at twitch.tv slash splattercatgaming. I'll see y'all later. Hi-do, everybody. Bye-bye.